as the Chinese people. I think that when you arrive at the Badashi Museum, you will be surprised. We definitely don't want to make people feel that they've come and seen their closet. What you will see is footwear from around the world and different cultures, and more importantly, you'll see what those shoes can tell you about the cultures and different time periods. One of our mandates is to collect footwear from absolutely everywhere around the world. And we have really important holdings from India. For example, we have the Nizam of Hyderabad's bejeweled shoes. They're really important pieces. We have a large Chinese foot binding collection. And you will see those very tiny little diminutive lotus shoes on display. We have shoes from all parts of Europe, including traditional fashion footwear that goes way back to the 16th century even. We have a very large circumpolar collection. You'll always see a pair of Kamex here. And we have uh, the largest moccasin collection in the world. And again, you'll always see a pair of moccasins. We are exhibiting the shoes as keys to learn about other cultures, about other parts of the world, about certain areas in, in history, about human mankind because the shoes, they reflect uh, the importance of a human being in its society. They are status symbols, they tell you about the activities, they tell you even about the religion of the people. Different cultures had such totally different shoe patterns and different ways of wearing shoes. And I started wondering why, because after all, we all have the same feet, the same number of bones and ligaments, and there the pattern was so different. The Japanese, they wear guitars. The Indians, they have tone up sandals. In Holland, they have clocks. Uh, in North America, they have moccasins. Uh, our Eskimoan cultures, they have, they have comics. So why this totally different designs and patterns and different ways of decorating the shoes? I think this museum is great. I was very much impressed by the development of the shoes, the beginning, how they used it in the early centuries, and how it developed in the different meanings for religion and for work. I find that visiting the museum brings together my love for fashion shoes and purses, and uh, the, the, the traditions and um, the elements of history in which these, uh, the shoes were worn in different religious or uh, ceremonial occasions, and the finesse of the work, and the, the, um, the hide or the silk or the leather that they use is just exquisite. Some of it is timeless, some shoes you could wear today. It's working with shoes that other women have worn, getting a chance to see um, what they put on their feet, the materials that made those shoes, and actually close up how those shoes were made. <laughs>